OK, how to extract a shapefile for your area of interest in South Africa. OK, you're going to need to get this MPK arc uh, file from me. And so you open it up. And it has several layers. Um, none of them are important except for this geology base map. If you expand on it and click on geology, you can see it loads all these geology shape files. You can take off the other maps. And so now I want you to zoom to your area of interest. So I'm looking at the Bushveld complex. So I push the Earth button to zoom out, and then I'm clicking on the plus, and I'm going to zoom into the Bushveld complex. I'm particularly interested in the Western Bushveld complex in this area south of Pilansburg. And so now what I'm going to do is I need to find out what layers, what their names are. And so what I'm going to do is click on this button here, select features, click on the down arrow, go select by rectangle, draw a small rectangle, and you can see it's selected this geological feature. I click on the eye at the top, and I click on it, and it says the name is Pyramid Gabrinorite of the Rosenberg Layered Suite, and this is under Strat name. I'm going to right-click on this, go Copy, and I can close that down. Now I've got to search for that. So now I, I go here to Geology, I right-click, I go to Open Attributes Table, and these are literally all of the shape files, or the polygons within the shape file. Um, so you can see all these different names here under Strat name. And so how I'm going to search for the one I want, I click up at the top left corner here, I go Select by Attributes, and I'm going to scroll down in this top table to Strat Name. Remember that was the name we copied. I'm going to say, is e so sorry, when I double click on it, it appears in the bottom here. And I click on the Equals, and then I click on Get Unique Value. And these are all the names, all the different Strat names in this whole table. And so the one I'm interested in, I'm going to click here on the Go To Square, and I'm going to paste it there, and you can see it immediately comes up here. And I'm going to double click on it. So what it's doing is selecting um, all of the layers, all of the polygons labeled as this, um, and in strat name. And you click Apply, and what you will notice now is at the bottom here it says 7 out of 1,000, sorry, out of 13,000 are selected. So 7 polygons have your name and are selected. And so I'm going to close this. You go back to Geology here, right click, go to Data, Export Data. Um, and what we're doing, we're doing the selected feature and we're exporting it and you click here where you're going to save it to. Um, Arc is a bit weird in its file structure. It doesn't let you save everything. Like it doesn't show you all your file structures on your whole computer. You have to add different ones. And so you would click, I think, here and say connect to folder and then navigate to that folder. So I've got mine saved here and I'm going to call it whatever. I'm going to click paste and I can see this is what it's going to save it as and it's a .shp so it's a shape file. I click save. OK, and this says, do you want to load it back into this map? I'm going to say no. And so you're going to do that for all of your layers. And so you can see here, um, with my mouse on this map, at the bottom right, this is showing me what my units are. Go to the View menu. Data Frame Property. It's telling us our coordinate system here is UTM 35 South. And now say, for example, I need to import it into Kingdom Suite, and my Kingdom Suite is in LO coordinates. And so Kingdom Suite is not like Geosoft. You can't just import a, a different zone and a different coordinate system, and it will convert it for you. You have to do it beforehand. How you would do that, I would open up Geosoft. Um, you would have to have some sort of map, like you can see my geology map here is in the bottom right, it's in Hot Abyss, Hook 94, uh, LO 27. So this is the coordinate system I want to convert to, to, from. Sorry, I want to convert to. So I want to take the UTM 35 and convert it to this. So I'm going to go Map, Import, Arc Shapefile. Okay, I'm going to navigate to where I save that shapefile. So you can see it here. And I, I click here on Do Not Import to import the individual data and I'm going to plot on the current map and it shows me what the coordinate system is of the data and I click OK and it's busy loading it and you can see here it's loading the shape file. I now go into this top left group manager tool, click on that specific shape file, go map, export, 
make sure selection is selected here so you're not exporting everything from the map I'm only selecting this shape file and then the top left column make sure that um, you've selected arc view shape file I'd say dot per inch I always just leave it at 300 I'm not sure how important it is in this case click on OK and it'll ask you where you want to save it make sure you're saving it to somewhere that you're going to remember um, so this is a shape file so I have it all in the same folder and I have a folder called shape files and then this is under the bushfield complex and I'm going to go here and I actually have it already but let's just call it here I'll do it a second time and um, I would actually recommend first putting what the main geological feature is so that you can find these things easier complex and then the next is the Rustenburg layered suite and then the next thing along is that it's the pyramid um, pyramid formation I'm not sure pyramid group um, but yeah it'll be easier to group your shape files together if you label it in this way and I click save um, and sorry I'm actually going to do it a second time export and I'm going to navigate to where I just saved it and I'll show you now why it was this top one here I want to put here at the end LO27 because over time you're not going to know if it's in geographic or LO27 and that's not too important in GeoSoft but if you are working in Kingdom that's a problem so I've labeled it LO27 I click save and now if you're in Kingdom Suite I'm just busy opening up Kingdom Suite and um, so now I'm going to culture import group I'm going to navigate to where I saved that last file oh, that was under shape files bush felt and you can see bottom right here I've got to change this to shape and it's this top one and you can change the name here that it's going to save it as and I click OK, it's asking you what, it's double checking the coordinate system I click OK, it says it was imported successfully OK, and you can see here is my large outline um, and it's in this table here so that's how you would first of all extract the shapefile you want from the whole um, shapefile for the geology of South Africa then how you would convert it to Allo 27 and then import it into Kingdom Suite and if you're working in something like ArcMap and QDIS for your individual layers that should be able to pick up the different coordinate systems so it's not as serious um, but yeah that's how to work with it